All right, so we're using this uh, foam um, as a curve, but we're not gonna keep, this is a walking shower, we're not gonna keep the curve. The only reason why I'm showing y'all the curve, we're gonna do a water test so that the county comes over and inspects that everything is right with the waterproofing, uh, which looks great, by the way. The waterproofing turned out great, nice and uh, dry. We let it dry for a few days. Um, we, we were doing other things, but Typically, all you need to do is let it dry for 24 hours. If you could let it dry a little bit longer, it would be great. If not, you, you could see some pink uh, blemishes on the, on the waterproofing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Just make sure that you let it dry for at least 24 hours. All right, so we're gonna use this curb, and the way we're gonna put, install this curb, we're gonna, uh, I already cut it to, to fit. So now we got it, we got the curb here, and what we're gonna use is um, it's a 100% waterproof silicone. Actually, before I put on the silicone, let me show y'all something. That way this isn't in my way. I'm gonna move this over to, we're gonna get right back to that. This drain is ready. The reason why I just went ahead and paint, painted it all was so for one, you get all of it to the edge without a doubt. Second, um, it's easier to cut whenever you come back, you start off here and you move to the, to the uh, edge and you kind of cut at an angle, kind of like going going at an angle this way. Very important not to uh, puncture any of the, any of the red guard at all, you know, which is not that easy to do, but still you gotta be really careful when the blades are sharp at an angle, come around to get as close as you can to the, to the bolt. Bam, that's it. Now, next is loosen up the bolts, which that one's already loose. See how the red guard just comes out pretty easy. See? So anyways, lift those up. Then, you grab the flinch. You got the flinch. Put the flinch on. Lift the bolts high enough. Make sure you got play. You know, you don't want to be damaging the, the red guard. Squeezing it in, make sure you got play. As you can see, everything fits just right. So now we're gonna do the water test. <clears throat> these are called um, plugs for the, these are drain plugs. So you, you drop that in and you fill it up with uh, with the air, with the, you know, basically a bicycle air pump. They make these, they make these. These are, I like these. These are the best because they drop in a good amount. They stop from, from going in. These go all the way in. They do have this thing right here where it stops it from going all the way in. Believe it or not, I've already had a couple go all the way in because it would pop from here or break right there. Let's go ahead. I usually do this after after my curve, but let's go ahead and do it right now. Use the bike pump. Drop it in the hole. Pump about one, two, three, and four. Four pumps, let it go. It releases air, some pressure. It's still nice and tight. And now let's go ahead and uh, let's put the curb on. Now we're gonna put the curb on. Now I've seen installers add tons of silicone at the bottom of the curbs and then remove the curbs and have a ton of silicone to remove. It's a little smarter way to do it. All we need to do is do the face of the curb. You know, and, and it obviously it's gonna touch the, the floor, the, the pan a little bit, but it ain't gonna be that bad. And when you remove it, it won't be that bad either. So, all right, let's get going. Again, we don't wanna use, <clears throat> We don't want to use a whole lot of silicone that we don't need, right? Just want to use just the right amount. <clears throat> All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more on the on the face of it right here, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, now we press down the foam a little bit, right? Not too much, just a little bit so that it holds a little bit. All right, then we're gonna start on this end. 
right? Now what I'm doing right here, I am creating like a little wall against the foam. Alright, so then this way. Alright, so pick this up right there. Alright, and that's that. You don't gotta get too much detail with it. I do put a couple of drops of uh, silicone back here so that when it dries um they don't kick my uh, curb over so we sealed everything on the face of it from the bottom up now when we add water we're gonna add about an about an inch to an inch and a half of water as high as we want it's fine and then we're gonna mark it but we're gonna let this dry we'll be back in uh about 45 to an hour we're gonna put water in it so you can see the way it gets tested. Once we put the water in here, we're gonna let it sit for uh, 24 hours and uh, make sure that the water uh, did not leak. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for leaks. So let's take a let's let's pour this water in and see what's up. settle for about um, a few minutes then we're gonna come back and uh, mark our, mark our points so now that the water is settled we're gonna go ahead and mark it with a pencil we're gonna go ahead and mark our water line right there I'm gonna go ahead and put an error on it so that the inspector can quickly see it all right so with that watermark, we'll be able to notice if uh, the water goes down. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours, and in 24 hours, we're gonna come back and uh, and see if the water line still meets with uh, my mark, the pencil mark that I did there. So uh, let's hope for the best. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, make sure everything's on point. Guys, we're gonna come look at the water pan. It's already been. Uh, just about 24 hours and uh and let's take a look so as y'all see it didn't leak any it didn't lose any water thanks for watching before i go i'll explain how to complete the mud pan around the drain area the drains have three weep holes these weep holes must be covered with a few pea gravels over the top not as many as this picture showing necessarily now after that the sidewall gets filled with thin set then sand mix as you would complete a mud pan thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you like these kind of videos don't forget to subscribe thank y'all